In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the 3DS emulator as a hard plus. This is a fork of the original emulator, but it allows you to run 3DS ROMs in a .3DS format, something you can no longer do on the original emulator. Okay, let's head on over to the official Azahar Plus GitHub page. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, you want to look under Assets. This is where you will find your downloads. And I'm going to be downloading this for Windows, so I'm going to select this one here, Windows Zip. Once you click on it, your download will start. Also, you may want to download this free program here called 7-Zip. This is what I prefer to use to extract my files. Or you can use your built-in Windows extractor. Both work fine. Now, I have saved the Azahar Plus file on my desktop. You guys can save this file wherever you like, whether that be an SSD, external SSD, external hard drive. It's up to you. Now, we need to go ahead and extract that file. So let's go ahead and right-click on it. If you want to extract the file with your built-in extractor, then you can select extract all, but I'm going to use 7-zip, so I'm going to come down to show more options, 7-zip, and extract to Azahar. This will give you a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file, so we can go ahead and right click and delete it. Also here on my desktop, I have a folder called 3DS ROMs where I have a few games. So if you look over here under type, you will see that my game file types are 3DS files, which are playable in Azahar Plus. When you first get your 3DS ROMs, they will be in a compressed format like this file here, Fantasy Life. So what we want to do is extract the file. Let's right click on it, show more options, 7-zip and extract here. And now we have a .3DS file type. So we no longer need the zip file, so we can right click on it and delete it. No, I cannot tell you here where to find 3DS ROMs, but if you need help, check out my Patreon page, link in the description below, and I have a few videos there that can help you out. Now let's open our emulator folder, and this file here is the emulator. Let's open it. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our games to the emulator, so go ahead and click on this big plus button here. Locate wherever you have your 3DS ROMs, in my case on my desktop. Select the folder they are located in and then come down to select folder. Now let's go up to emulation, configure, come down to graphics. Now let's increase the internal resolution and you can turn this up all the way up to 10 times. I'm gonna select six times at 1440p because I am working with a 1440p monitor. Now if you have a pretty powerful PC, then you can crank these settings. But if your PC doesn't have a graphics card and is relying on integrated graphics and you are getting bad performance in game, then you may want to come back here and lower the resolution. Now I do not like to add texture filters to my game, but if you guys wanna check out what each one of these filters look like, then you can try them out. I'm gonna leave everything else alone here and I'm gonna go over to advanced. Now for the graphics API, I'm gonna change this to Vulkan for the best performance. Now if you are running integrated graphics, then you may want to try OpenGL or software for better performance. For your physical device, make sure that your actual graphics card is selected. And we want to click this box here, enable a sync shader compilation. This will decrease the stutter you will experience when your shaders are loading in while playing a game. Now let's go down to controls. Now I have tested an Xbox Series X controller, a PS5 controller, and a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, and they all work with this emulator. The controller I am using now is an Xbox Series X controller, and you do not have to set your controller up. Just make sure your controller is connected to your PC, and then you want to come down here and hit Auto Map. Then you're going to get this pop-up saying after pressing OK, press any button on your joystick. So we're going to press OK, and then I'm just going to hit any button on my Xbox controller. And as you see, my entire controller has been mapped out. Now, of course, if you're not happy with some of these buttons, then you can go in and you can change them. And if you want to save this controller profile, then come up to new and you can name this whatever you like. I'm just going to call it player one. Now, if you want to see your hotkeys, then you can come up here where it says hotkeys. 
and these are all of your hotkeys now if you want to change any of these then you can just click on the one you want to change and then hit whatever key you want to become that hotkey we are finished here come down to ok now we can go ahead and load up a game all you need to do is click on the game you want to play and it should load up now to change your screen layout you want to go up to view screen layout and you have the option to go single screen you can go large screen side by side separate windows which creates two separate windows hybrid screen now the one i prefer is large screen this way i have my main screen big and i have my touch screen small and to use your touch screen you just want to use your mouse now to go full screen all you want to do is press your hotkey which is f11 Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.